Hello, hello, beautiful soul. I am so excited to have you back on this short episode of Unapologetically Abundant. And today I want to keep it short, sweet, to the point, because the topic of today is how to keep going when you're losing the fate. And fate doesn't mean, you know, God, universe, um, whatever is your fate. It can be also fate that it can work out that your relationship can work out, that you can improve the health, that you can get better in your finances, that you can pay off your debt. It's just when you're losing this, the solid ground under you. And very often people think like, oh my gosh, you're always so happy and you're always so positive. And the thing is that what I want to share is that it's very easy to be sharing when you are on top of the world, when you're feeling good, because people are feeling magnetized by you and people are attracted to you when you're feeling amazing. Well, very often we are like hurt animals and when we are not feeling our best, what we do, we hide. And that's something that I want to share with you. I want to share with you the three ways how to keep going when you feel like giving up, when you're losing the faith, when you are not 100% trusting, and when you're doubting, when you're doubting yourself, when you're doubting what's going on in your life and if it can get any better. So the first thing that I do when I am losing faith, it's I disconnect. And I mean literally no technology. I don't have my phone on me and I go to nature. And I'm lucky enough that I live very close to the park. So we could go by walk. It's I think like two, three minutes drive. So I usually sit in the car and I either go alone with my love or I bring um, our doggy. She's a little hyper out there. So when I feel like I really need to ground myself and I need to rebalance and harmonize my energies, when I'm not feeling myself, I just put on myself comfortable clothes and I always have my blanket in a car. Like my car is always ready for whatever it's up front. You know, I have my workout clothes there, my yoga mat, my blanket. And so I just disconnect from the world so I can connect with myself and just like go back to nature and be breathing and be present. And when I'm in nature, I just lay on my back or I go for a walk like to, we have a red rock really close, like 15 minutes drive. So I go for a hike and I'm just looking for the miracles. Literally, I look for hummingbirds and the butterflies and I look at I look for rainbows and a wilder, whatever it is. Sometimes it's just like the leaves on the tree. Sometimes it's just the air on your face. When we can get really present, we start to feel that we are not alone, that we are always supported and guided, even when we don't feel it in those moments, days, weeks, sometimes months we will see that we're really not alone in those moments when we see the little miracles that nature has for us. And if you cannot get to the nature, my second favorite, it's long showers. That's when I relax, get my best ideas, or just lay down on the ground, cuddle my dog, and just connect with my breath. Just put one hand on my belly, one hand on my heart, and just feel my body and be present. So that's number one. Number two is see your accomplishments. Because when we are going through the times that we're not feeling good, we forget the goodness that we have created in our life. We forget like how resourceful, how resilient we really are and how much we have already overcame. So knowing how much we already overcame just gives you a sign like this is temporary. And one of my favorite meditation, I record meditation for my um, online coaching group, Rise and Thrive, um, that it's six weeks online program. I record meditation there, but when I need meditation myself, 
Um, there is also one that you can find on SoundCloud from David G. And that's spelled, uh, let me just write it down so I can spell it for you correctly. D A B like a Victor, I D J like a John, I David G. And the meditation is this too shall pass. I send it to a few of my clients and they had incredible transformations. So just knowing that whatever you're going through, this too shall pass. And really seeing the things that you already accomplished in your life helps you to bounce back into your confidence and clarity and knowing that you've got this, even if you don't have all the answers and all the steps right ahead of you. And the third one, magical reflection questions as always is, what would it feel like if, what would it feel like when I am, you know, when I overcame this, when I am financially independent, when I have a heel heart, when I am working on with dream clients, when I leave a job that I hate, what would it feel like when I am in love with life and with my body and myself? So ask yourself, what it what would it feel like when, and you fill the blank, okay? So make sure that you take care of yourself first, girl, because we are always pouring in everybody else and then we are feeling resentful and we are feeling empty. So make sure to really pour in your cup first. And I know that there are things that we know and we don't do them. So let me know which one of these was the most helpful for you. Just take a quick screenshot of this episode. I love resharing them and sharing them with my audience, with my tribe, so we can keep learning with each other and from each other. So just take a screenshot and tag me, Tete Kolobova, and your Instagram stories, and I'll see you there. Mwah.